It's times like this when Whoville makes a sound. Christmas time has come around. Through the depths we see a hound. The Grinch. A delinquent in the attempt to end Christmas. Possibly a mass murderer. The truth shall be revealed today. This is the Grinchinator Theory. When you think about the most devious Christmas villains out there, the one thing that comes to your mind is the Grinch. This creepy old Grinch is widely known as one who craves the hunger to end Christmas, but many are unaware of the real reason and intentions of the Grinch. Today, I am going to be proving that the Grinch is a cold-blooded killer. The citizens of Whoville were making joyful preparations for Christmas. Meanwhile, the Grinch was complaining about how much he hated Christmas. I must find some way to keep Christmas from coming. He decided to invade Whoville in the attempt to finish Christmas for good. Now you may be asking yourself, why does the Grinch even hate Christmas? Good question. Before we answer that, let's talk about why the narrator thinks he hates Christmas. The narrator speculates that the Grinch's heart is two sizes too small. But wait a second, could this actually be true? Well, in order to understand in great depth, we need to acknowledge the connection between the heart and love or hate. In other words, does the size of the heart correlate to the kindness and hatred towards others? Well, I don't know, I'm no scientist. But research suggests that love comes from the brain rather than the heart, which is an anecdotal representation added to the Dr. Seuss books. But then, what could it be? Well, the Grinch later reveals by his own mouth that the reason behind his hatred towards Christmas is the noise of the Who's. <laughs> one thing I hate. All the noise, 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 noise. There is a hidden nugget of truth in there. You see, by the looks of it, Whoville seems to be extremely far from the Grinch's lair. A rough guesstimate would imply that the distance between Whoville and Mount Crumpet should be about three to four miles away, which if you think about it, isn't close at all. Let's say the noise is leveled at around 80 decibels, which is the average you can hear from singing and instruments. An article claims that 80 decibels can travel up to 100 feet. I believe the decibel level doesn't seem to upset Mr. Grinch since there would be many louder sounds throughout the year other than the Christmas season. But then why did he say noise? There is definitely something about the noise that is upsetting him. Here's a clue. Did you notice towards the end of the film the Who's purposely sang out loud in a circle? Why on earth would they intend to sing in this orientation? Think about it, they could be crying for help. Let me explain. So we all know that the Grinch hates Christmas more than anything else on the planet. He revealed in the episode that he has been hating Christmas and putting up with all this excitement for 53 years. But for 53 years I put up with it now. He must have attempted to stop the Who's from celebrating Christmas for that long. I believe that the Grinch mass murdered a large chunk of the Whoville population in the attempt to free his mind from the Christmas spirit. And the surviving Who's developed a strategy to protect themselves from the Grinch by displaying bright lights and making lots of noise. Wait a second. If this is actually true, why isn't the Grinch aware of this for the past 53 years of all his attempts? I dug deep through the Grinch film and saw a pattern. In each of the movies, the Grinch is stealing something that could prove the speculation of the video. He is specifically stealing bright and noisy objects like light bulbs, Christmas trees, and instruments. The Who's rely on all these objects for their survival. And if you don't believe me, the narrator specifically said the last thing the Grinch took was the fire log. The last thing he took was a log for their fire. And he most likely took this to stop the Who's from making a fire to signal for help. And that's not the only thing that surprises me. He was found stealing the camera or specifically the film inside. This could be the same camera used by the Who's to capture incriminating evidence against the Grinch. Can't you see the Grinch is doing all this to protect himself from the consequences? Each Christmas year, they sing and play as loud as they can to warn everyone that the Grinch can come any second to go on a killing spree. These citizens are extremely extremely intelligent to come up with this plan to protect their entire population from disaster. If you want direct proof, I got you. In a different Dr. Seuss movie called Horton Hears a Who, the Who's are forced to make noise in order to protect themselves from the sour kangaroo who threatens to kill them all unless they're heard of. They don't believe we're here. We've got to make some noise! We are here! 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 They blew on bazookas and blasted great toots, on clarinets, soopas, and boompas, and flutes.
Now obviously these are two different movies, but they are in the same Dr. Seuss universe, and the point of this comparison is that the Who's make noise when in danger. They know that the Christmas season is a sign of danger from the Grinch, so they make as much noise as possible to be heard of by their savior. As we hear the Grinch talking about the noise he despised, you can see the paranoia in his eyes. Noise, 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 noise. He knows that this noise can prevent the success of his plan. That's why we see him attempting to end Christmas while the boys and girls of Whoville are asleep. But there is still something not quite grounded in reality. Why on earth would Mr. Grinch hate Christmas so much that would urge him to wipe out a population? There isn't any concrete evidence but I think it's because the Grinch is an anti-Christian. And it makes total sense, right? He wants to destroy the whole village of Whoville just because he hates Christmas. And that is the Grinchinator theory. Rest in peace your childhood. I apologize for ruining it if you came this far, but the truth must be revealed. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Merry Christmas.